students welcome to plk computer sir youtube channel okay yeah, is the in this tutorial video we are going to know how to use modular programming okay for that we have to install qbasic uh, interpreter okay for that i will go in this download section so when you visit plk computer dot blogspot.com this page will come so i will click to number one okay my distance so this is number one is qbasic download okay to download qbasic i have click this okay so when you click on this so you can look so qbasic is downloading okay in order to write qbasic program you must have qbasic uh, interpreter in your okay so i will click on this one and i will go to so in folder okay my dear students when i will click so in folder so when it is downloaded okay so download okay i have this one okay so right click on it and after that extract okay when you will <coughs> click this one so q basic will be extracted okay then after uh, this uh, extension is completed good okay then i will cut it and where you want to keep okay so i will keep in rosebody school i will make one folder so grade 10 q basic okay i will paste it here okay so file will be not done so where you want you can keep my distance okay so when file is copied then i will open it okay so now no need of this website okay my dear students okay let it be complete up to that much time i will remind you so in modular uh, programming we have two modular programming approaches one is sub module and another is function so in this video we'll discuss about sub okay for sub number one step is declare sub procedure name and parameter list separated by comma okay my dear students so after uh, you have done this one then we have to separate uh, the input variable we need to ask the input variable okay then we have to use call procedure name so whatever procedure name you will write here so it will repeat in three place so this is number one number two and number three procedure name should be same everywhere okay then we have to use formula or process and print statement finally in sub sub will be and okay now so file is copied my dear students okay so i have this one qb64 okay i will open it okay so now you can see our qbasic is already open here okay so in this program we are going to what to do task is sum of two numbers okay my dear students the question is uh, we have to find sum of two numbers using sub procedure so number one what is uh, we have to do is procedure name so for sum i think uh, sum will be uh, suitable so you have to choose accordingly that will reflect the procedure and variable okay my dear students uh, variable uh, we have to we need two variables so first variable a any um, alphabet you can choose for second b and third one what we have to use we have to use the s, s, s okay because sum is already we have taken so these three variable we need because what we will do s will uh, perform the calculation okay my dear students okay now i am going to write so remember d i c e okay so i will write here d4 declare sum what is our procedure name we have choose sum and the parameter means 
the input variable so we have here a comma b then input okay so input uh, message we can give enter any two numbers okay first number is a and second number is b okay then third one step is you have to use call okay so call our procedure name is sum variable are a comma b in so me and module completed okay so we have not declared uh, the function a uh, sub definition down that's why it is a real color so when we write here sub sum a comma b so this real color shadow it will go now formula or process sum is so s equal to a plus b okay calculation done now we have to print statement okay so print our sum is message we can give sum of two numbers is okay comma what is variable we have used for sum s then in sum okay so this is completed now i will save it as okay i will write here sum only okay before it is on title okay when i will write here any file name you can give okay my dear sir so sum.bs basic extension it is now i will click on file i will run it okay so you can look here student we have to put two numbers so first number five second number seven so by comma we have to separate number and enter so sum of two number is 12 okay in this way we are getting 12 in this suppose if we have to find a difference of two numbers then we can do a, a difference d equal to a minus b okay so same thing we can okay so for difference what i will do just i will save it as another program we are going to write okay so i will write it difference what we have to change okay if you have to find the difference of two number okay so at that time if you write tiff difference it will be first number a b and another formula will be a minus b okay so my dear students our procedure name is here diff okay similarly here also we have to change okay in process also we have to change minus remember my dear students i have not written the procedure name in sub module that's why it is here to color okay so don't worry if i will change it as diff this will go and uh, language also we have to change okay so what i will write here difference of two number is okay so d variable i am using here so d okay now i will save it okay then i will run so you can uh, this will find the difference okay my distance so first number five second number seven okay so what is difference five minus seven that is minus two is answer okay in this way we can use sub procedure okay thank you very much for watching for more such videos please like share and subscribe plk computer sir thank you very much